Okay, so we're going to look at Janine's work, um, an amazing Dutch artist. Check out her website, links are available below. She's an oil painter and does these fantastic flower studies which are really large, it's 100 by 100 centimetre canvas. Um, now obviously I'm tuning down that scale and I haven't got a piece of canvas on me so I've just quickly primed a piece of cardboard. Um, it's going to be an oil painting project so you do need a surface that is primed that can take the oil paint without causing any damage further on down the line. With this type of painting you probably need to do a, a preliminary drawing on your canvas or your piece of cardboard if <laughs> you're pushing your budget out shall we say. So take a charcoal pencil, have your reference image next to you and you need to start sketching it out. First of all you want to look at sketching in where you're going to have this centre loop so you see to me there's this arch to this side so I'm going to put in that arch so I can see to that centre then it's going to come up, come round and then I've got these flowers here, these petals even, they're sitting in here. So you can see how I'm holding the, the charcoal pencil towards the end and getting these basic primary um, marks down. That's then going to come out to this bigger petal, which you can see here, obviously it's cut off by here. I'm getting a little bit smaller than the reference image. And then I've got these petals that are hooking around here. So that's going to come in here. And it's generally looking at everything, how it all interconnects and slots together. Okay, your eye should generally be on the piece of, well, on the reference image, more so than your actual drawing. Uh, you will find that it will have a habit of growing when you're doing it in this way of drawing. So do give yourself a little bit of leeway. Start off smaller than you think you're going to need because you're bound to start kind of erupting through those boundaries as you work along. As you can see, I'm already doing this. I'm going to get this one over here. So I'm working in here. And I'm just simplifying out that one coming over here. I'm wrapping around. And then I've got this big petal kind of coming out over here. That means I've got this one just in here. And I'm thinking about the size and I'm positioning. Go a little bit of an arch tuck under there. Then I get this triangle and that goes up with this towel coming off here. So I have a bit of petal coming down under here. And a little bit poking through over here. And generally I've got the main, main part of the flower down. So once you've got that, then the really hard work as always starts because you've got to go into each individual bit and start sketching in a detailed representation of that petal, checking that your scale is constantly correct and that you've got the lumps and bumps where they need to be. Okay, so that's got a hook under here. It's like little teeth. And then that one hooks underneath. And you will find that again, every time you refine and go through a stage of doing more and more detail, the picture will tend, well, generally start to grow. So you will see that as I work through this process. I remember if you do make a mistake, it's not a problem. You just get your putty rubber, okay, and work it out.
Okay, so you've got a basic down there. You can see I've just been building up on that. Then I'm going to grab a piece of tissue and I'm just going to wipe this down a bit. Just take off that excess charcoal so I don't get the cross contamination within the oil painting. Make sure you give it a decent cleaning and that you regularly turn your piece of tissue to lift off all the excess dust because it'll give you a cross contamination and you'll get grey within your paint for your petals which you really don't want. Now you could work that up to a much higher level. This is fine for me. I know where I'm going from this point but um, it's completely up to you. So next stage is obviously to get your oil paints out. Let me go and grab mine. I'll be right back. <laughs> 